Hey guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to part 18 of our C Sharp for Automation testing video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about extension methods and where is it really useful in our automation testing. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 17 since this part will have some continuation from that part. All right, let's get started. Extension methods. An extension method enables you to add methods to existing type without creating a new derived type or recompiling or otherwise modifying the original type. So extension methods are a special kind of static methods, but they are called as if they were instance method on the extender type. And the most common extension methods are the link statement query operators that adds query functionality to the existing system.collection.ienumerable and system.collection.generic.ienumerable of generic types T. So you can see that extension method is going to add the method to the existing type without creating a new derived type. Meaning if you have a compiled DLL file shipped by some companies, let's say Microsoft or Selenium or maybe Cucumber or PDD. And if you want to add a new method to the existing type, then you can use extension methods to perform that operation. And this is really, really an awesome functionality which is available in C Sharp, which is not available in Java yet. And I really like the feature because this has paved a way for the language integrated query or the way it's called as link to perform a lot of operation. And you can see in the second paragraph that I have mentioned that link standard query operators that add query functionality to the existing system.collection.ienumerable. So C Sharp is actually adding the existing collection with some new functionalities with the help of this extension method. So extension method is really, really helpful. So where is it helpful in our automation testing? We have already spoke about that in our Excel automation channel in YouTube as well as in Udemy, where we have a video exclusively for extension methods for custom methods. And it's an advanced part of part 11 in C Sharp with automation testing video series. So you can just go ahead and watch that particular video series for what this particular extension method is going to really do for the working Selenium. But really, we are not going to talk about Selenium in here, but we are going to show you very quickly how the extension method is helpful. So let's quickly see this in action in our Visual Studio and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we are working in our previous video. And now what I'm going to do is not demonstrate the existing type to be added with the new method. I am going to add a new method for our iWebDriver.cs interface. For instance, if we want to add a functionality for, let's say, for the Chrome web driver, we need to write a method, something like send keys with some spaces or send keys with some special characters, something like that. If you can write a method over here, something like this, public void send keys with special characters. And if you're gonna say keys and then special characters, something like that. And then if you're going to perform an operation by means of the send keys, so you're going to basically use this particular method here, and then you're going to pass the keys, and then you're going to also pass the special characters, something like that. And this is the new method which you're going to add for the Chrome, but you cannot do that. Basically, if you're going to do or write a method for the existing Chrome driver, then you probably have to create a new branch of the Chrome source code, and then you have to modify the source code of the Chrome driver, and then you have to write your own method on the top of the existing class, and then you need to recompile that, and then you have to make sure that it is not really breaking anywhere in the existing type. But that's gonna be taking a lot of pain because it requires a lot of programming understanding of the internal functionalities of how Selenium is being written, so that's really not gonna be helpful there. So in order to avoid this problem, extension method comes in very, very handy. For instance, if you're going to write a new method, something like send keys with special characters, and it is it has to be supported by all the different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and IE, then basically you have to add a type for the iWebDriver.cs class. And if you're going to do that, it's very, very easy. Basically, you can create a extension method and you can then 
add for that particular type so I can just quickly show you how to do that so extension methods and then in here I'm gonna add a class and that particular class is gonna be a static class that's the most important prerequisite for the extension method so let's say web driver extension and this particular class as I already said need to be a static class that's the rule number one for making an extension method for the existing type that's the first rule which is static class and then you need to create a static member which is nothing but the static method so let's say we can write a method which is this and I'll just cut this I'm going to disturb the existing code of the Chrome browser and then I'm going to put it over here and then I'm going to make this as a static method right and you can see that we're going to get an error here it says it's going to send keys and this one this method is not available of course it is not available here so how to overcome this particular problem it's very very simple as you said the rule number three for the extension method is you need to instantiate the type using the this keyword and then you're gonna say i web driver and driver something like that and this i web driver is actually coming from this particular namespace we have right and then let's remove the unnecessary namespace so that you can have a clear understanding c sharp basic that's selenium over here and then now we have this driver dot send keys something like this driver send keys right so now you can get the member for the send keys over here so you can see that we have added a new method send keys with special character for the existing type iWebDriver and since we have added for the existing type iWebDriver it is going to be supported with different browsers as well Chrome, Firefox and IE right so that's the power of extension method you can see that it is very very easy so you're adding a new method for the existing type without even recompiling the project which is nothing but the Chrome driver or Fire Firefox or IE driver and now if I go to the program.cs file in here if I just want to do something like driver dot you can see that we are still seeing the same old method the find element click and send keys but we're not really seeing the new method the extension method that we have added it's very simple to resolve this problem basically we need to add a reference for the extension method and that's sitting under C sharp basic dot extension methods and now you can see that if I hit a dot in the driver you can see we will have a new method coming in here with some symbol which is like an arrow going down just the extension so you can see send keys is special character this method we just added for the driver type and now I can just pass something like a execute automation and the special character which I'm going to pass in is going to be something like that right so I'm gonna save it and if I run this code this time you can see that we will have an execute automation and there is a exclamation so there are two lines right and you can use this for any kind of browsers right now so even if it is Chrome and if you execute this it is gonna execute that without any problem right so this is how you can work with an extension method and you can see that how value it is adding for your automation testing so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day